let's talk a little bit about my story. I grew up in a Christian household. I was raised with two parents with a beautiful family full of love and happiness. And I was always a very, very, very hyper person. I'm still a very hyper person now. I was always involved in something. I was doing talent shows and dancing videos and I even did modeling and acting. And I was always doing something that made me be the center of attention. And I say this because you would think that all of these things that require a lot of confidence coming from a person that has so much confidence that this person would be sure about herself and that this person would have an identity. But that wasn't my case. I had a lot of confidence and my parents taught me to have thick skin so that I wouldn't care what people thought about me and that I wouldn't let their opinions get to me. But I grew up not having an identity in Christ. And it's so crucial to have an identity because it doesn't matter what your belief system is, it doesn't matter what religion you practice or not, if you don't have an identity in this world that is being led by emotions, it's a world that is so unstable. If you don't have an identity, you will be going down with all of the instability that this world comes with. And I remember that I grew up knowing how to talk the talk and walk the walk like a lot of church kids, but I still didn't have a relationship with God. And it wasn't until I became a teenager that I entered this really toxic relationship that will be a whole other video in the future. It wasn't until I entered this relationship and after this relationship that I was completely broken, that I was a complete mess, that I learned what my identity was. Not having an identity in Christ led me to decisions and to places that I'm not proud of but I'm so thankful that I was able to face those things because I wouldn't have experienced his love and his grace and his mercy as I do now. All of that to say that we are called for such amazing and great things that we could ever think of. There are so many plans that have our name written on it that belong to us, but all of this starts out with having an identity in Christ. And after you have an identity in Christ, it doesn't end there. It's a walk that you have to endure every single day. It is something that you have to learn new things that you have to learn about you, good and bad, that you have to deal with every, on an everyday basis. And you will come to a point where you feel ready. And I want to talk about David real quick. Um, David, he was anointed to be king of Israel. He was anointed to be the king of a whole nation, but he wasn't appointed to be the king of Israel until 20 or more years later. And this is something that is so relevant to our daily life right now because a lot of times we feel ready and a lot of times God has anointed us already. He has anointed us to be pastors and preachers and evangelists and for the missions. And we get frustrated because we feel like God is not opening up those doors yet. And we're like, God, why would you tell me that you have this and that ready for me, but you don't open up those doors? Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. And there's an in-between where God wants to deal with us. And it's so important that we remind ourselves that just because we haven't reached our potential yet does not mean that you're not in the place where God wants you to be at right now. He wants to work in the place that you're at right now. He wants to work within you. And he does this because he wants to make sure that he doesn't expose you prematurely to your blessing. Because if he does that, you might not be able to withhold everything that the blessing comes with. He wants to make sure that when you receive your blessing, you're able to keep your blessing and go from glory to glory. I hope this message was inspiring. I hope that it blessed you as much as it blessed me. I know 100% that this word is for me in this season that I'm in right now. And yeah, be what, who God has called you to be. Seek the plan that he has for you. There's a God that is ready to show you and to lead you, not just show you, but to lead you and walk with you in the plan and the purpose that he has, that he has already prepared for you even before you were born. And I encourage you to pursue that. And yeah, ciao. <laughs>